When I was trying to stand up to change my camera settings, I stepped on my sleeve and I ripped the sleeve off. You can see it, hopefully. <laughs> oh my gosh. I think I can fix it. I'm anyway married, so for the soda are for unmarried girls, so maybe this is the time to say no foodie soda anymore for you, girl. My school organizes a kimono speed dressing contest every year. And I thought, why not showing you how my school does speed dressing? Yo! As far as I know, there are two schools who teach speed kimono dressing. They are slightly different, as I know and both of them have contests one of those schools is i don't remember the name of it um is the one who says that they have the international speed dressing contest so they will have contests in every area of japan and i think rank one two three is allowed to take part in the international speed dressing contest. What I don't really like about that school is that they have three groups for kimono dressing and then they compete with each other in those three groups. Um, the first group is Tomisode, Kuru Tomisode, um, the black kimono, which is um, the most formal dress for married women. Um, then they have Furisode Bu, which is for unmarried women, the one I'm wearing right now. And they have a foreigner group, which I don't like pretty much because why should foreigner compete with each other? Why can't they compete with the Japanese as well? This doesn't make it an international um, speed dressing contest. Um, that's what I don't like about that school, but they're doing great maybe. In my school, <laughs> I am allowed to compete with my Japanese friends. Um, which I really enjoy because just because I'm German that doesn't mean that I couldn't compete with any Japanese in speed dressing Does it? Our area contest in Komoto is held every year in June. I heard Kagoshima is April So it depends on where you are when you have your area contest But I think it's not too far from the national contest and we also have a Kurutome group and a Furusode group we have to compete in and only the first prize is allowed to intend in the national contest. The national contest is always held in the end of July in Kyoto, Osaka or Kobe. Um, it kind of depends every year, it changes every year. I honestly have um, never been there <laughs> and I honestly don't attend um, the Kumoto contest every year because I might not look like this, but I couldn't be less competitive. I really hate to compare myself to other persons and I really, really hate to compete with someone. I think we all should just enjoy something and success is something you have to describe for yourself. So I really don't enjoy it that much, but I love speed dressing. It's just such an awesome skill to wear a kimono in less than six minutes. Fast people usually take five or a little less. Um, I am still always little before five minutes or a little after five minutes. So it's maybe uh, four minutes and 50. Ah, but this year during my training, I once had four minutes and 30 seconds. They also prepare you for blind kimono dressing. So you can wear kimono in the pure darkness. And a lot of our teachers, they just look awesome, even if they can't see anything, which is pretty cool. I'm still not there, but I hope I can get there. I am, by the way, the Kumamoto Furisode Champion 2017. <laughs> it's not that big a deal, anyway. It's just Kumamoto. I never attended a national contest, so I could maybe do way better if I wanted to, but who 
cares? So I don't want to make you wait any longer. This is, by the way, no tutorial, no tutorial because um, it's way too detailed. I to I do things way too much at one time, so I couldn't really teach it in a tutorial. If you really want to learn it, I just can suggest look up for lessons at Nihon Vaso Gakuen. Or if you're not in Japan, you can always book a Skype lesson with me if you want to learn how to do speed dressing. Anyway, it will take months and years to kind of get there where you want to go. Okay, so enjoy what you could have seen at the speed dressing kimono contest.
I hope you have enjoyed this video. Leave me a thumb up if you did and leave me a comment with questions or requests what you want to see as the next video. I am planning on lots of nice tutorials in the future. Look forward for it. Thanks for sticking around with me if you have subscribed. If you haven't, feel free to do it and not to miss any of my future videos. And I talk to you next week. <laughs> Bye!